But first, the Target 12 investigators have new details on the bridge breakdown. A lawsuit has now been filed against 13 companies related to the failure of the Washington Bridge. Thanks for joining us. I'm Kim Kalunian. And I'm Kayla Fish. The long-awaited action, nearly 250 days since the westbound side was shut down in December. Target 12 investigator Kate Wilkinson is live at the Washington Bridge with all of the details. Kate. The 44 page complaint shows what they say is a mishandling and negligence from the companies that were in charge of handling the Washington Bridge. Attorney General Pina Narona says this is about holding those companies accountable. He says should have known better and known about the conditions of the bridge years ago. The long awaited lawsuit now shedding light on who the state blames for the failure of the westbound side of the Washington Bridge. The, the day of reckoning is beginning. It comes four months after Governor Dan McKee hired outside attorneys to pursue legal action, eventually collaborating with Attorney General Peter Narona. The complaint filed in Superior Court Friday shows a report found signs of the bridge deteriorating in 1992. The lawsuit identifies 13 companies that have worked on the bridge over the last 10 years, including ACOM, Aetna Bridge Company, as well as Arletta. Attorney General Peter Narona says the company should have realized they were dealing with an incredibly unique bridge when inspecting and maintaining it. And there were aspects to it that needed to be taken into account when they were providing those services. It did not provide them in the way that they should have. In a statement to Target 12, a spokesperson for Aetna, one of the defendants, wrote, We stand behind the quality of our past work and the work we will perform in the future. The lawsuit alleges from 2015 to 2023, when the bridge was closed, multiple companies failed to identify significant failures, including so-called tie-down rods in repeated inspections. The complaint states, quote, None of the firms that conducted the inspections adequately recognized or addressed critical elements of the bridge's structural safety safety and integrity. Narona says it's unclear how much money they hope to recover. So my focus right now is to um, recover what we can uh, that was prior to December 11th and to make sure that we get back to a normal traffic flow. Now, some of the contracts, some of those companies that were named in the lawsuit have active contracts with the state, including Aetna, who is supposed to be demolishing the bridge here behind me. New at 6, I'll have what the Attorney General is saying about that. Live in East Providence with the Target 12 investigators, Kate Wilkinson, 12 News.